Well, I'm about to take you on an incredible journey, a journey made possible by one extraordinary boy and the miraculous power of prayer. This is the story of a child who dared to dream against all odds and of a heavenly father who loved him enough to give him the desire of his heart. Welcome. <laughs> For more than a year, Christopher Muchimba had a dream to come to the United States to attend high school. This is your new dad. After overcoming many <laughs> obstacles, his dream is finally coming true. Yeah, and this is your mom. <laughs> I first met Christopher three years ago, 8,000 miles away, near his home in Macha, Zambia. As I heard his story, I marveled that a boy with such a bright spirit could have endured such hardship. His mother had abandoned him, his father died of AIDS, and the man he called uncle used him as a chore boy and donkey herder. When he first asked to go to school, he was 12 and the government school would not accept him because he couldn't read or write. But Christopher had a dream to get an education, and he found this school, built and supported by Orphan's Promise. It didn't matter to him that he had to start with children half his age. His humility and determination really touched me. To just say, I will not be refused a future. I mean, that's, as a mom, you know, I look at that kid and I think he's never really had love. He's never really had anybody who's told him what a great kid he is. And, and he's got so much potential. In three years, he's moved from kindergarten up to the fourth grade. He knows he's behind, but he knows he can do it. I think that's an amazing thing. Who gives that to a child normally? Their parents, you know, he's, he's not had that from anyone. Christopher's next dream was to become a boarder at the school so that instead of herding donkeys, he would have time for his studies. Well, you know what? Orphan's Promise is gonna sponsor you. So as of today, this is your new home. <laughs> Thank you. You are so welcome. You know, you, this, I want you to know that God heard your prayer. And mm -hmm. last, last night I woke up and I was thinking about you. Mm -hmm. And you know what I thought? <clears throat> I thought about how, do you know who David was in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was a great man of God. And you know what he was first? A shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. And that's what you've been, a shepherd boy, and you've been faithful to that. And God wants to do something powerful for you. I knew then that God had a purpose for Christopher beyond what we could see. Fast forward to today, where he's getting his first look at the private Christian school he will attend for the next three years. Already he's making friends with other international students. God has been doing some powerful things for this young man over the past year. So this is one of the classrooms that Christopher will be studying in when he's here. I want to talk to you a little bit about the miracle of all of this. Gil and Rhonda Krause are Americans who run the school in Zambia and have become like a father and mother to Christopher. He loves education, he's inquisitive, and so he started talking with a lot of the volunteers that came to Macha and just was always asking us, how much would it cost? How hard would it be? I want to get an education in the States, sir. I said, Christopher, we need to pray. Um, if this is the desire of your heart, you need to let God know. It was three weeks later that you wrote and said, oh, what do you think about Christopher for going to the States? Orphan's Promise had learned that John and Rosanna Reed were interested in hosting an international student in their home and at their school. People get involved in, in many things in their life, and, but what's going to outlive your life? You know, what's the legacy? The one verse that really talks to me is that you will, you will be the, uh, the foundation for the generation to come. The Reed's offer was generous, but still a lot of hurdles had to be jumped before this young man could make his journey. Christopher had no parents, no birth certificate, no records to prove who he was, yet amazingly was able to get a Zambian registration card and then a student visa, and finally a passport. 
And so no one that hears this story can say that it was an accident or coincidental. God was every step of the way. We got a passport in a third world country in one week. God has provided so amazingly for Christopher. A loving family, beautiful home, a committed church. But without the gift of education, Christopher's future would be extremely limited. That's why Orphan's Promise is committed to providing education and job skill training for the children that we serve so that their hopes and dreams can truly become a reality. What, what went through your heart and your mind? Oh, I was like, oh, good. Well, what, who am I? Yeah. I've been just asking you this for past year, and they were giving me what, what I was asking. I said, then I, just say, thank you, Lord. Christopher's academic goal is to return to Zambia with innovative ideas to help the impoverished people there. And though he's taken to his new American family, he already misses his friends and teachers in Zambia who have been like family. You know it's going to be hard sometimes, mm -hmm. but your faith is going to see you through. God never calls you to anything he doesn't provide for you. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. We're all watching and we're all praying and we're all knowing that God's going to do something wonderful with you. Mm -hmm. From a thatched roof hut in Zambia to a suburban home in the States, God continues to open doors for this young man. And it's just so wonderful that um, Christopher can see that God is his father. Yeah. And he gives him the desire of his heart. Yeah. As this dream is realized, we wait with anticipation to see what dream God will give Christopher next. He is an amazing, astonishing young man. You know, to go through the things that he has and have no resentment, no bitterness, only a dream and a desire to be used of God to make a difference in the world, to become what he was created to be. Christopher's dream is to study the oceans, to study all water, to learn the secrets of fish. He wants to bring fish to the rivers and the lakes of his country so that people have food to eat. I've said it before, I fully expect that one day Christopher may be the president of Zambia. You never know. It would be just like God, wouldn't it? <laughs> He's a wonderful boy, and I think man, really, now, I think the thing that's so wonderful about his story for all of us is we see the Abba, Daddy, heart of Father. We see how much God loves his children. You know, since Christopher has been here in the United States, and it's been just about a month now, he's already asked if he can be baptized. He knows the Lord, but now he's asking, can I be baptized in church with others who are making the same decision? Pray for him over this year, will you? It's going to be a year that is filled with all kinds of opportunity, but lots and lots of challenges. So when God reminds you of Christopher Muchimba, pray for him.